Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be telling you 10 of my proven to work weight loss fitness tips. Now this worked for me, I lost a stone in a month last year and then I lost another stone a couple of months later and I've maintained that off so I'm going to tell you my fitness tips that work. My first hack is to download MyFitnessPal. Now I know a load of people don't actually like to have fitness apps or counting calories or anything like that but I think it is so important to do so. Um, MyFitnessPal has a scan feature so you can see exactly what you're buying. So you can scan the products and it will tell you the fat, the sugar, the calories, everything and it's really important that you know what you're putting into your body. Um, obviously to lose weight you have to have a deficit in your calories so you have to burn more calories than what you take in to lose weight. I used my fitness pal religiously when I first started to lose weight because I didn't realise how many calories were in stuff. So when I first started, I'd be like, yeah, I'll have a flapjack as a snack. Obviously that could be like 300 calories and I didn't even realise. So actually seeing what you put in your body is quite important and keeping a food diary, you can see what works for you and what doesn't. Number two is to buy a water bottle. Now, I didn't drink enough water before and drinking water made such a difference to my skin, to the amount of times I pee today, to my body internally, like drinking water is so good for you and I drink at least two litres a day. So having a bottle like this is really handy, obviously you're not wasting plastic. What I like about my one is it actually tells you by the different times how much you should be drinking, just to sort of give you a bit of a reminder. So by lunchtime, I would have drunk whole one of these, and then when I finished work, I would have drunk another one. So these are 750 ml, but that is more water than I would have been drinking before. Number three is to balance it. Now there is no point going into this being like, I'm gonna eat salads every day, I'm gonna, you know, not eat chocolate ever again. That's not gonna work for you, it isn't, especially, if you like eating chocolate, there's nothing wrong with it, but going into it with that mindset won't work. You need to keep it balanced and realistic to you. Number four is to always have cut up fruit in your fridge. So whether that's blueberries, um, just in a bowl, or pomegranate, or cut up apples, or bananas, or strawberries, have them cut up in your fridge in a bowl on a shelf. And then when you do get home from work or school, and you go home and you're like, what do I want? It just, sometimes when you see like apples and you're like, I don't want to cut it up, I just want something quick. That's what I did, especially during the beginning. I always used to snack. I used to just go to the fridge straight away or the cupboard and having that stuff already there just takes away the, what's the word? Urge. There we go. It takes away the urge of wanting to eat bad. Number five is don't skip a meal. Skipping a meal is so much worse for you than eating a meal, obviously. If you skip it, your body will think, when am I next gonna get fed and hold on to calories and fat, and I don't know how the science works, but skipping a meal is just terrible for you, so don't do it. Even if you just have an apple for breakfast, I know I never used to be a breakfast person, but now I have porridge, I make myself have the porridge, and I'm just, I perform so much better in the day, and it helps with my weight loss. Number six is to be more active. Now, I don't necessarily mean to go to the gym, but take the stairs instead of taking the lift or the escalators. Walk to the shop if you can instead of going in your car. Little things like that. When I first started, I used to walk around the block at work three times in an hour, and that, I never went to the gym in my first month. I didn't, don't think I went to my fourth month, or third month, fourth, something like that. And just by doing those three laps, every day for an hour, it made a really big difference. So take those active steps when you can. Number seven is to listen to your body and keep a food diary. Now, when I first started, I was trying to copy other people's plans and it didn't work for me because bread bloats me out, pasta, I love pasta, but it's just not, it bloats me out more. Um, certain foods that would help people lose weight just didn't help me. So by keeping a food diary on my fitness pal, really easy to do. You can just see what your body 
reacts to positively and negatively and you can then work that around your plan. Within the first month, you should have a good idea about what works for you. Number eight is to pay attention to when you eat. I was the worst person when I was eating. I'd be on my phone, I'd be watching TV, I might be in the car, like passenger seat, just like eating, just on my phone, this music chatting. Actually pay attention to what you eat because usually if you're like stood up or you're just in the kitchen or you're doing something and you're eating, you're not registering what you're eating. So then afterwards you're like, I'm still hungry. I'm gonna go have like another bag of crisps or chocolate bar or apple. You will then eat more by not paying attention. So just for those three, four minutes that you're eating, just sort of focus on your food. <laughs> Number nine is to sleep. <laughs> Get a good night's sleep. Now this is something I struggle with. I do suffer with a bit of insomnia. I can't say the word. I do suffer with a bit of that. I'm a bit of a night owl. I don't sleep till like three in the morning and then I have to wake up till at six for work. So my sleep impact is like I'm constantly working on. So make sure you sleep where you can. And I mean good night's sleep. Read a book before bed. Put your phone away. Get the light away and so your body is ready to sleep and do what it needs to do. Number 10. Now, if you're like me, when you're at work or just sat there, you might just want to like snack. But I usually chew a lot because I just want to be doing something. I fidget a lot. And by having chewing gum or like a mint, all sugar free, obviously, or even celery sticks or cucumber cup just in a container at work. So if I do feel like, oh God, I haven't eaten in a while, I just pick it up, eat it, and then that just, I sort of ride the wave of like, hmm, am I hungry, am I not? So having little things like that really make a big difference as well. So they're my 10 tips. They 100% work, they worked for me, and let me know in the comments down below if they work for you. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I will be doing more fitness, weight loss, and general lifestyle videos. I'll see you guys soon, bye.